So the last part of my presentation, I'm going to talk about the five steps of evidence-based practice, but I'm going to showcase JBI product that really hit upon these points. Um, many of you know these five steps, so it's really not about the five steps as much as the structure to sort of showcase some, some of the JBI resources that I think are available that would help you uh, actualize evidence-based practice in your setting. So identifying the problem is the first step to the five steps to evidence-based practice. And many of you know the PICO format to questioning. But most of you, I think, know the population intervention comparison or comparator and outcome format. And that's really for a quantitative question or a review of effects and economics. But if you were to go about asking a qualitative question um, or something that would involve textual data, then you couldn't use that same, it wouldn't be right to use the same PICO format with a comparator, for instance. That just isn't how qualitative design is set up. So instead, you would use PICO still, but now the PICO mean different things. P still stands for population, but the I now is for phenomenon of interest, and then the CO is for context. So that's a really great tool that JBI has built into their systematic review summary software suite such that you can ask both qualitative and quantitative questions. Again, sort of getting to that pluralistic vision of evidence that's so important. Accessing the evidence is the second step of five step seven space practice. And I would say accessing the most important thing, if you have JBI access at your facility, make sure it is available to clinicians. Just having it on a library website buried deep among many other databases, a busy clinician is not gonna take time to sift through those, those, all of those different web links to find it, they're just not. So we do have it on our main library website, but we know that it gets very little traffic there. We actually monitor it, and we know this is not how most clinicians are getting to it. The main library web page have nursing subject guides. So this is a nursing subject guide page for nursing. And then we have, that's from our main library. Then we also have a subject guide for nursing out of the Mount Zion Fishbond Library. This one has the link to JBI right there on the front page. But what really gets us traffic is having it here on this main web page, which is the default web page on all of our computers throughout the medical center, in the clinics, the ambulatory areas, in the main hospital, in all of our four campuses. This is the default screen that the computers just go to. And this is just really a web page full of links. But you'll see in the blue section under healthcare information in the, the very top section, clinical references, JBI is right there near the bottom. Um, and all clinicians know about it. They go to it, even if they don't know what it is, maybe they're just curious, they go and click on it, right? But they, they, we get a lot of traffic, and in fact, we know that people are using it. I've got a slide coming up to show you that people are using it. Appraising the evidence is the third step to the five steps to evidence-based practice. And JBI has training worldwide to teach users how to become facile with comprehensive systematic reviews and to use their software and tools. One of the tools they have built into their software are these critical appraisal tools. And they have different tools based on the research design. So it, it's, again, contextual, and that's good. The RCT quasi-experimental studies, for instance, that appraisal tool is based off of the consort guidelines, which, as you know, are the internationally reported guidelines for RCTs. All of their critical appraisal tools are based off of international reporting guidelines, but for qualitative, because qualitative researchers can't decide. We can't agree. So we, have not, we do not have international reporting guidelines for qualitative design. So that one is really just a critical appraisal tool that was designed by JBI staff and expert experts based upon best practices around appraising qualitative research. And this is just a flyer from our center to show that these training sessions are frequent. They're held worldwide. Centers all over the, all over the globe teach users how to use the JBI software and how to actually go about doing a systematic review. So if any of you are interested, I strongly encourage you to go on the JBI website. The training dates are there, I think, globally. Um, so you can, you can reach out to a center that's closest to you and attend one of these week-long, really rigorous and great workshops.